Taurus, digits is the song that's playing for you. So we talking about some numbers, talking about some money, talking about some other type of numbers. Could be talking about time. Could be talking about a date, time on the clock, just a set of times, set of numbers. You know what that means for you? Some digits. You might have got some digits. You might be looking for some digits. You might be looking for a phone number. You knew you had that phone number somewhere, but you just can't remember where you had it. Can't remember where you wrote it down. You scrolling through all your all your do's, all your don'ts, trying to figure out where I put it. Now, whatever it is, that varies from towards to towards. You're running up some digits. You're running up some numbers. Look, Ace of Coins. You focused on an opportunity right now. You got your mind on the digits. You got your mind on a gift right now, an opportunity that was presented to you, an idea or a new cycle, a new virtue you are put expressing, you're putting out there. You got a new form you want to express and this in this pattern, this habit feels like it will help you develop or take a step in the right direction. You feel me? For the betterment of you. So that's where you're going. Oh, shit, the, the numbers just look good. The digits look good. Oh, the money look good over there. Let me go ahead and look at the opportunity. Yeah, look. Oh, shit, Taurus, what you got? Oh, is this you and your film? No scrubs. There you go. Now, listen. Who was the scrub? Who was dealing with the scrub? All I know, or you realize that wasn't a scrub. He or she wasn't a scrub. Put your foot in the shoe that bitch. You say, I don't want to give you mine. No, I don't want your number. No, I don't want to give you mine. Last song we was talking about was digits. I, I don't want no scrub. You only want, look, you only want things that are worth investing in. You only want opportunities. You only, look, after looking at a situation, you may have realized that wasn't a scrub. Yeah, that was a gift. That was an opportunity. You have a lot of passion for said thing. Whatever it is you're looking at, whatever it is you see as this opportunity, whatever it is that was presented to you and you see as a gift, or you just have a gift and an opportunity in front of you that brought you passion and that you're acting on it. Or someone's, if it's you versus someone outside of you, someone outside of you's passion is making you realize that person or those people or that place doesn't, isn't. A scrub doesn't allow scrubs. There are no scrubs over there. And that's making you want to express your mind there. It's like if it's you versus someone outside you, someone outside you is expressing passion in some way, shape or form. There's a fire burning and that and you feel the heat from that fire. And, you know, that's a good fire to go to that. That warmth feels good. You feel me? I want to take my mind there. I want to or you just you're just receiving that fire as an opportunity wherever that fire is coming from it could be coming from another person it could be coming from a whole establishment it's a space you want to be in it's a space you have a fire for because that space has a fire put your foot in the shoe that fits you something makes you feel strong something brings you strength So no more scrubs said toys. Cause you know you know what it, what real passion is now. Now listen, if it's you versus someone outside of you, it's always a hater. Always a hater. Never fails. If it's you versus some yeah, you might have ended something in the past. Ten of cups in reverse on the bottom. Behind that ten of wands in reverse. Yeah, it's like, in order for you to seize this opportunity in some way, shape, or form, to put yourself in this type of position, in order for you to put yourself there, you have to stop being here, wherever here was. Here ain't happy at all, King of Coins in reverse, about the fact that you, in order you put burdens down, in regards to an unhappy home situation. You weren't emotionally fulfilled here, so you stopped being here and you started expressing yourself in a different way because something makes you feel, it's like the passion. Hold up. The passion. You see, you're on a high horse when it comes to this. You feel up 
when it comes to this. Something makes you feel high, mentally high. Spiritually high. Something makes you feel above all others when you go here. You feel me? Something jump man. Something makes you you feel me? Feel up. And someone outside of you isn't happy that you have a mind for something else. So they have a lower mind that they want to give you. If it's you versus you, another one, you could just, it's like, you could have a whole lot of fire for something. You could have a whole, you could have a, you could see something as an opportunity, but how you go about, it's like the translation from thought to action is terrible <laughs> in the sense where it's like, you think of something, you feel of something this way internally. It's like, you see this as an opportunity, but you treat it like it's not. You feel me? That type of vibe. And that may be that may be because of an unhappy or unfulfilling emotional situation that you went through in the past that you had to let go. So it's like you don't want to let yourself down. You feel like this is something worth being passionate about. But in order to protect your insecurities, you choose to express opposite. Damn, you don't even give yourself a chance. Huh. You know what you got going on. Damn, that's real sad. Yeah, and that brought an ending to something. Tower. Damn, you don't even give yourself a chance. Damn, Taurus. Yeah, now you fall. Uh, if it's you versus someone outside of you, we're going to say that one. We're going to get this, this one out first. Someone outside of you missed an opportunity with you and they're not happy about it because you got a mind or and you got a fire for something else. What, what, you were, what you were in wasn't emotionally fulfilling for you at all. It was fucking with your career. It was fucking with your mind. It was fucking with your look, your status. Who you were and who you were to you and who you were to those outside of you was getting disrupted because of something you were invested in. You ended that. You walked away from that. You realize you you got invested in this relationship too quick. Boo, I should have surveyed. I should have felt it out more a little bit before I got invested in it because you only got burned. And you, you were put in a position to slow down anyway because, look, it was a bad relationship. It was a bad partnership. It was a bad friend. It was a bad family member. Put your foot in the shoe that fits you. Fast forward, now you now you're in a you're in a whole different mentality. You got a whole new passion. You got a whole new fire for something. Something brings you something lit your flame, and you want to invest in that. Who where you left is still salty that what you had with them ended. You may be dealing with an Aries or a Scorpio. You don't have to be. Or a Libra. Put your foot in the shoe that fits you. But it's like. Yeah, or Scorpio. I said that already. <laughs> and it's like, they're salty or Capricorn. That's what I meant to say. So it's like, they're salty and they want to come invest in you in a certain type of way to get you to eat some of their fruit again. They want to plant a seed in you, give you an idea, give you a feeling, something that is sweet for a moment but won't last long just so they can get you caught up again. One more, they want one more cycle with you. Let's go one more round. First things first is the song that's playing for you. And if it's you versus you, you shot yourself in the foot. Big time. You, you, you counted yourself out without even taking a, a real swing in a situation. Because it's like you wanted to protect yourself from being hurt because you were hurt in the past. Put your foot in shoe that fits you. Count yourself out. Yeah, look, now now where you want to go, or it's like now someone or something is defensive towards you. 
if it's you versus someone outside. If this is you shooting yourself in the foot, where you want to be is now closed off to you because of how you expressed your mind, how you invested yourself when you invested yourself. You had passion, you thought highly of something, but you mishandled the how you handled it, totally out of whack. If it's you versus some another you versus someone I need water. Another you versus someone outside of you thing is Mm, flat. <laughs> Let me not say that yet. Let me not say that. I'm not gonna say that. We're gonna see. We're gonna see. Last card. What I mean, yeah, for 10. We still, it's kind of uh, stretching. We really got like seven out here, but we're gonna get one more. Yeah, damn. I should have said it then. All right, look. It's like you don't wanna be a part of this anymore if it's you versus someone outside of you, but what, what you don't wanna be a part of doesn't want you doesn't wanna not be a part of you. It's like someone's attached to you in some way, shape, or form. And it's it's a toxic attachment. But you don't wanna be seen with this or in this anymore because you don't have any more passion for this. Your mind, your fire is elsewhere. But elsewhere is defensive towards you. Mm, you in something you in a pickle. I'm going to be honest with you. It's like you want to go to an opportunity. If it's you versus you, you, you might have shot yourself in the foot because of how you expressed your mind in something, how you invested yourself towards something. You, it's like you thought real highly. You felt real good about something. You, you, you had a lot of passion for something. But you expressed the total, like you, you, when you, when you invested in that space, the total opposite of how you felt. And to the point where that's defensive and that doesn't want to be seen or invested or share a space with Taurus. But it's like, that's where you want to be. And you may have someone outside of you that you ended a situation with or ended sharing the space with, whether it's a relationship, friend, idea, mentality, trying to make its way back in the forefront because what you want to do, it's like you can't push out the virtue you want to push out. So those old bad habits are trying to make their way back in your mind. Just do this again, Taurus. Don't even worry about going doing that. You struggling to do that anyway. Just keep doing this. That's your mind talking to you. You feel me? Put your foot in the shoe that fits you. It's a whole, whole lot going on right here, though. Whole lot going on. I'm going to cut it right there. 